today we're going to be painting our Peter Max flags. So first you're going to need um, a big piece of paper. It's 12 inches by 12 inches, a smaller piece of white paper, 10 by 10 inches, and a small blue piece, five by five inches. We need to first write our name and class code on the back of the big piece. Then we're going to actually glue the smaller piece in the center of the bigger piece. So all the edges are even. So you're gonna pick off the glue boogers, twist open the tip, squeeze it a little to make sure it's breathing. And then we're going to put a baby dot of glue in each corner. One, two, three, four. And maybe just a tiny dot in between those. And then you're going to carefully lay it in the center of your paper. And smooth it with your hand. Then we're going to glue down our blue square in the upper left hand corner. Dot, dot, not a lot. Move over it. So this center part is going to be your flag, the American flag, and this is going to be the colorful border, like Peter Max makes. Close your glue bottle, put it away. Make sure you're painting on a messy mat because that is actually how we're going to clean our brushes today instead of using water cups. You need a paint palette, you need um, a small round brush and a flat brush. So we're gonna start with the flat brush. We are going to paint five horizontal stripes on our flag around the blue square. So you're going to dip just the bristles not the metal part, into the paint. And anytime your brush gets dry and scratchy, that means you need more paint. Try to space your lines evenly so that you have room for five. Okay. Now we're going to clean our brush on the messy mat and we're gently wiping the paint off of the brush until it's pretty much clean. That's why we wanna make sure we don't get any paint on the metal part, because that all will get wasted. Okay, now we're going to dip our brush into the blue paint. And we're gonna paint over the blue square. The blue um, should have a little white in it and that's good because it adds more interest than if it's just a flat blue. That's why we don't wanna mix it up completely because all those little bits of white showing through are really pretty, really interesting. Carefully painting. And now we're going to clean our brush. And we're gonna paint um, a colorful pattern around the outside edge. So you could use any colors for this. If you wanna use lighter colors, I would use those first. And it's okay if you still have some paint on your brush because, like I said before, it's more interesting when the colors mix. What we want to avoid doing is over mixing because if we do that, sometimes our colors can get muddy. You can see that the blue is mixing with the orange to make brown. 
and we don't want it all to be brown so that's why we're, I'm not going to go over to this, the same spots again and again because that's going to make even more brown. Okay, we're going to set this brush aside. Now we're going to use our small round brush. You're going to use white paint, ju dip just the tip into the paint, and you can add stars, um, hearts, other shapes in the blue square. This is where the, um, the 50 white stars would be. Okay, now we can add patterns and designs um, to our border. Okay, I'm going to put my brushes in the sink and carefully put my painting on the drying rack.